Well, the latest news we have today is about a police a blitz on speeding and dangerous driving in Scotland. This is a blitz from the new um, National Police Force in Scotland and what they intend doing is focusing particularly on drivers um, throughout Scotland over the week from the 15th of April from 7am onwards. Now whether that blitz is just a PR exercise or whether uh, they're truly going to be on the streets with uh, an increased focus on drivers, I thought it would be worthwhile just giving you some information about uh, what to do if you're stopped by the police during this police blitz. If you're stopped for speeding, dangerous driving, careless driving, use of a mobile phone, whatever it is, there tends to be, um, I, I guess, a desire to try to point out immediately to the police how they've got it wrong, where they've got it wrong and what they should do. And our advice to you as road traffic specialists is don't do that. Okay, You will have an opportunity to do it, but the opportunity to do that will be at a trial and not at the interview or when the police officers are stopping you at the roadside. So keep your own counsel. My own advice would be to make no comment to the police at all. Don't become involved uh, in any conversation with them about the incident. Provide them with your name, provide them with the details that they require regarding insurance, your MOT, your driving license, and that will be the end of the matter. Then contact us as soon as you can or contact a firm of solicitors who specialise in this and we'll give you some more uh, advice about what to do. But if you're stopped this week, for instance, in relation to speeding, uh, what I would strongly suggest you do not do, as what many of our clients have done in the past, is to demand information about calibration, demand information about when the machine was last checked, um, demand to see the device that's used and to take the, uh, the details of the device used, such as its registration number and serial number. Um, as I say, don't do that. It's not in your best interests uh, to ever provide or ask for that information. What you're doing is simply alerting the police to the fact that you're going to contest this and you may rely on that evidence at a later stage. And what you're doing is putting them on notice to make sure that they get everything right by the time they come along for your trial. So keep your own counsel, keep quiet, and if you want some legal advice, contact us immediately. You can uh, fill in our online form on this website if you're viewing our website. Um, if you're looking at it on one of the other channels, just call us on 0800 612 9597. That's 0800 612 9597. Thank you.